All right, hello everybody, I'm back once again. God still speak through visions and dreams. Yes, he does. Okay, I wanna to talk to you all again, especially uh, you all that are having visitations with aliens or demons or succubus, incubus, you know, spirits. Um, there are ways you can eliminate them. There are ways you can evict them out of your life. Okay. Now, the reason why I got these images up here is because, um, well, let me just say this first. Uh, as I said in my last video, uh, I give the credit to God. And his son, he allowed me to look into the spiritual realm, into the invisible realm, by way of visions, dreams, astral projection, whatnot. And I was able, I'm able to see a lot of these beings. If you go to vashta.com, vashta.com, that's v a s h t a dot com, they got all the images of these beings not all of them but a lot of them on this uh on the internet okay and these are some of the ones that i've seen uh but now what i want to talk to you about is how to one way to eliminate them out of your life and keep them out of your life okay there are several ways you can do this. Now I'm going to give you a little story behind what I'm about to tell you. Um, and 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 furthermore, these images make these beings look very friendly and benevolent, but they're not. They are really you wouldn't like them. You would not like them because they're they are totally sinful. They are. They have been turned over, totally turned over to sin and death. And that's all they have for you is sin and death. They will not, they cannot give you anything else. Okay, so they're not your friend. All right. But let me give you a little story here. A few years ago, now this, what I want to, the subject today, what I want to talk to you about today is how one of the ways you can just keep them out of your life. And that is you must walk in the spirit of love love okay because you know love is god and love the bible said love is god love is god and love god is love okay god is love and love is of god uh the bible said also that all the ten commandments hinges on the love walk okay you walk in love, you keep keeping the Ten Commandments. If you're not keeping, if you're breaking God's law, then you're subject to these beings. They're going to come visit you and do something to you, take something from you. They're going to do something. Okay, but anyway, I remember many years ago, I I wasn't walking in the type of love that God wanted me to, do, to walk in. Uh, me and my wife was having some pretty big spouts, and we were not getting along, and we were just fighting and arguing all the time with each other. But anyway, I laid down one night. <clears throat> I laid down one night and all of a sudden I was like out of my body. I was I was still laying in my bed though, but I was out of my body and um I could see these beings around my bed. Uh there were these giant warrior like beings. Okay? giant warrior-like beings, and they was, they were walking around my bed really fast. They were really moving fast, urgent. They were acting like something really urgent. And I believe it's because they felt like they had gotten very close to uh, taking one of us, okay? You got to remember, you are a precious commodity to these beings,
You are a precious commodity to them. They they need you. They need whatever you got. You remember, uh, we were made from the dust, and the Bible said that the dust is the serpent's meat or the ser- the serpent's substance. So we are a precious commodity to them. They they want our body parts. They want our uh, soul. They want our they want us for different types of pleasure. Okay, uh, lots of things they want us for. But anyway, let me get to my story. Uh, I laid down, and all of a sudden, I was out of my body. I was looking outside of my body, but I was laying there in my bed. I was frozen, too afraid to move, because these beings that were two, like, warring, warring angels, uh, they were circling my bed, walking around my bed back and forth. And, you know, if you are a person who is very angry and always argumentative and always ready to fight and always uh, can't get along with people, you are in big trouble, okay? Because what what you're doing, you're carrying a spirit of wrath. And what's going to happen, you're going to contract a spirit of wrath, okay? And uh, eventually that spirit is going to try to overtake you. And many times it, that's what it does to a lot of people. People just end up getting killed because they're angry people. And that's what you're going to contract is an angry spirit. All right. So I was, I was walking in anger and unforgiveness and bitterness, and we were just arguing all the time. But anyway, uh, I laid, I was laying there in my bed and I could see these beings. They were walking back and forth across my bed. And I'm going to tell you something. These are some, these warring angels, these are not the warring angels that I'm showing you here. I don't I don't really have any, any image of them yet. But those warring angels were very dreadful, very dreadful beings. Uh, they are not your friend, believe me. And uh, they were very powerful beings. Okay, they when they when they would land the whole my whole house, when they would land down in my house, they would come through my roof. And land down, hit my floor, and my whole house, the whole house was shake. Even when they left off for flight, okay, when they took off in flight, my house was shake. Okay, that's that's how strong they was. But anyway, I looked over there to my right, over there by my wife, and there were these two beings like this woman here. Um, they would look like they were taking notes, writing down notes or something, and they would look like they were really serious about their work and uh, really anxious, okay? And I, would, I was really afraid. And they made me sick to my stomach because they're evil. They're just so evil. And you might think, well, uh, you know, a, a lot of these UFO people the study UFOs, they believe these people are benevolent. Let me tell you, the benevolent ones rarely show themselves, rarely show themselves. The benevolent ones rarely show themselves because they are under the operation and control of Jesus Christ or the Father. So they don't do anything without the Father's permission. But these are renegades. These here are renegades. They are, they are, they are, uh, they are in rebellion. They do a lot of things they shouldn't be doing. But anyway, I hated the sight of them. They're, they, see those eyes? The eyes look like it was further to the side to me, the side of their head. And but anyway, they were they were around my bed, and I hated those people. But I was really afraid of them. And so I woke up one. After I woke up, I, I thought about it, and I thought, well, I need to go on a long fast. No, that wasn't the answer. Sometimes we feel like we need to fast to get rid of spirits. Sometimes that's not the answer. Sometimes that's the answer. Sometimes it's not. And I thought I need to uh, read my scriptures more, quote the scripture and all that. That wasn't the answer. And the, the, I heard the Lord say, he said, you need to just love each other and just be friendly and kind to one another. But, you know, I thought that was too simple. I said, you know, that can't be the Lord. It's got to take more than that to get rid of these these beings that that's been in my house, my bedroom. But anyway, um, sometime went, some more time went by, and they came back. I think they came back, if I remember correctly. And again, the Lord told me, He said, "You just need to love. 
love, okay? Loving each other and loving like you're supposed to will, um, it will destroy the works of these beings in your life, okay? With pride, if, if love is not there, then pride is there. With pride comes rebellion, warring, okay, fighting, okay? So he told me, all you need to do is just love each other and be kind to each other. And so I did that. I just started being more nicer, sweeter, and kinder, and I had no more problems with these beings. All right? So uh, this is one of the ways you can eliminate these weirdos out of your life and out of your sleep. Okay, just obey God as much as you can, you know, okay? And then what you don't have the uh, ability or strength to do, then uh, uh, pray for his mercy and his grace and plead the blood of Jesus Christ and keep pushing forward. Okay, so they are horrible. All right, don't think they are they are as beautiful as these pictures, but this these images are uh pretty accurate okay so that's all i had to say on this uh you know walk in love if you walk in love and treat people right and uh even things that we say about people sometimes mean things you know god is not pleased with it and when we say mean things about people sometimes we are giving place to the devil or to these beings and they have access to our lives <clears throat> okay they have access to our lives and they can do things uh, cause a lot of problems in our lives all right so um, all right so I'm gonna let you guys go and thanks for listening God still speak through visions and dreams